Hello everyone, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on how to install a new language package to your .NET Nook website. So, there are a couple of reasons why you'd want to install a new language pack. One is, you may you might be doing a, a multilingual, a multilanguage uh, website. It might be, I don't know, English, Spanish, French, or you may just be looking for an uh, for the language package that will be used for your country specific. Let's say I just want to have uh, French in my .NET website. So let's get to it. First of all, is that uh, we have to f to find in the .NET websites where the language packages are available. To be honest with you, I th the way I, I go about that, I never I never really remember where this is in the .NET Nook website, so I usually go to Google, I just put .NET Nook language pack, go search, and usually the first link is the one that I want. So, so, and yes it is. So here, you can see all the different language packs available for .NET Nook, and most likely you'll be able to find your language here. So, for the sake of our demonstration, I'm gonna download uh, a French language pack uh, to add to my demo website, my test website. So, you can see all the different languages down here under language packs. I'm gonna select the one that I want to download, which is French Canada. When I click in French Canada and I scroll down, I will see, well, it already sa says here, there are six package, packages available for French Canadian. So, if I scroll down, I will see all those different packs. It's important to, to understand uh, that uh, there are a couple of, of uh, terminology that they, they use here. One is core, the other one is full. By core, they mean the, just the main platform just the main .NET Nook, not with... Uh, the, the translation is only available for the core platform, not for the uh, modules that go on top of the platform. Now, if you go to the full version, full means that it's for the core and for most of the core modules as well. So, I'm gonna go with uh, and, and the other thing that I try to do is I try to stick with the most recent version and I just check the dates well based on the dates it seems that this one see this this package here is just for for the modules this is just for the core uh, this is quite an old one so I'm gonna choose the one that says full language pack, which includes the core plus uh, most of the the core modules as well, and I'm gonna download. This is a zip file, and with that, with that one downloaded, I'm gonna go back to the website. And you do have to log in as host to, to be able to upload a new language pack. So we have to go to the host menu. And let's go to extensions. Under extensions. Scroll all the way down and click Install Extensions Extension Wizard. Click Browse. I'm going to the folder that I have downloaded, the language package. Click Next. Just uh, some package information. Click Next. Next again. 
accept the license and you should be able to see a log talking about the progress of the installation. If everything goes right, you should not see any red flags. No red flags, installation successful. Click return. So now we have the language package installed in our website. Now to check and to enable the second language that we have added, we can go to admin and then languages. See, there's a call that says enabled. Check that call, click update. You see at the top, it shows an American flag for the English side of the website and a Canadian flag for the French uh, part of the website. So if I click the Canadian flag, see the names, the terms, the, the, the text in most of the uh, in most places of the website have changed already to the new language. Click back to in the US flag goes back to, to English. So again, people can see the translated uh, aspects of the site by just switching and clicking one flag or another. So this is the case that you want uh, a site to be in two languages or three languages. I just need to keep adding more and more language packs and the additional flags will be added here at the top because this skin is a standard, a standard DNN skin and it has the language uh, selector the language selector uh, skin object added to the skin. And again, I can keep adding more and more languages. But in the case that my site is not dual language, I don't have multiple languages in my site. I just have one language and it's not English. What do I have to do? I have to disable now the English language and just keep uh, French, in our case, enabled. So there will, not, there will no be there will be no flags at the top and the site will be completely in French. How do I do that? Very simple. Let's go back to the admin site settings. Under site settings I can click advanced settings and other settings. So under default language it's pre-selected English. I'm gonna select French and I'm going to update See, the flags are still there, but now the default language is French. So what do I ha have to do to disable English? I'm going to go back to admin, scroll down and go to languages. Now that I have set the default language for the website as French, I can come to this page and disable the English language. Click update. Now the flags are no longer at the top and the site is all in French. So again, this is the case where I just want the site in a language that is not English. So just to give a, a recap, we have seen how we can install multiple languages in the same website so we can have the same site in various languages. And also we have seen how to disable the English uh, text, the English language, the site, and enable another language. So the second language, in our case, French, would be the default and only language of the website. Okay, so this is basically it for now. Thank you very much.